number 5B HS2 2013. After the underground success of the first film, it seems like VHS may become a franchise of paranormal activity proportions. It nevertheless brought back the horror anthology film, along with other franchises such as the ABCs of Death, and gave up and coming directors more freedom to express themselves. Number 4. Insidious 2010 the writer, director team of the Saw franchise needed a new direction and new blood for the horror industry this decade. The touching but disturbing story of a family coping with their son's coma only to realize malevolent spirits were using his body as a conduit was apparently just what the genre needed. Audiences were wising up and gore and torture were trumped by atmosphere number 3, Evil Dead 2013, leaving behind any of the campy fun. This retelling similarities stop at the setup. A group of kids end up in a cabin, read a demonic passage they shouldn't have, and unleash unspeakable evil. Although the nods to the original Sam Raimi classic are sprinkled throughout, this nightmare has demanded originality through and through. Number 2. The Cabin in the Woods, 2012. Leave it to Joss Whedon yeah. to breathe new life into a dying genre. The slasher film had lacked originality recently, but not so since so Scream so had we seen the genre so deconstructed and scrutinized. With a setup that is all too familiar, as a group of diverse teens ends up in a creepy cabin surrounded by fog. It's also unlike anything you have ever experienced. Number 1, The Conjuring, 2013. The five words that can make any horror movie even more terrifying than before. Based on a true story, Ed and Lorraine Warren had been demonologists and paranormal investigators for decades. With famous cases such as Annabelle the Doll and the Amityville House under their belts, and it took way too long before they got their own good movie. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.